Welcome back to the channel guys, 297mods here, back with another video for you today. And today, as you saw from the title description and the thumbnail, we'll be doing a review, or actually it's an initial review of this Craftman product. It's a pressure washer with a maximum of 1700 PSI and 1.2 gallons per minute. Now, if you're wondering why I just got a new pressure washer, and just a few weeks ago I did a review of my current setup which is a very nice starter setup which this one might be let me show you this is the Sanjo setup that I have and it works great it actually has more PSI this one is 2000 and has 14 gallons per minute if I'm not mistaken but there's something off with it and it might be stupid for you guys, but for me, it's not black and red. I like everything black and red. If you look here, black and red, black and red. Obviously the Scatback logo has black and red and some yellow. And you look down here, black and red. Power tools, compressors, black and red primarily. And look at my power tools here. 70-80% of them are Craftsman, I like the brand, and some DeWalt, if I can get a good deal, then guess what, I'm going for the DeWalt. Now, that's the main reason, plus, it was only a hundred bucks, so it was worth the investment, if it works great, then guess what, I'll sell the Sanjo on Facebook for at least 50 bucks, somebody will buy it, so I will do the unboxing right now. So let's jump into it. The box came slightly damaged and it just came like this from Amazon. I will leave the link down into the description. So let's open this baby up, see what it brings. From the picture it says all of this, so we'll see. Okay, we got here the gun plastic there's a safety clip here there we go not too bad i'm not planning on using it unless i'm doing maybe cleaning around the house because for washing my car i have a slightly different setup this i will not even try to use it these things are 100 percent garbage as a matter of fact i'm throwing away right now this is the pressure connector that comes with it typically they do a circular very similar and that's pretty standard on most pressure washer this is what will be connected here to the gun and it has a quick release up here it looks like to be like one quarter it's not big enough to be 3 8 so we'll find out and i will let you guys know then you got a hose actually it will, yes, it kinks. It's not a horrible hose to start with if you don't have anything else and you're going to use your first pressure washer. I honestly say this is the best hose that I bought, at least with a pressure washer that is cheap. I'm not gonna say dirt cheap, but relatively inexpensive for a hundred bucks and a branded name. It's a decent hose. And it says that it's 20 feet long. Typically, that's the size that they come with. So. And here we got the machine itself. It's not heavy at all. It doesn't have wheels. I don't care. My hose is 50 feet, so I don't need this much. Plus, it has tons of electric cord which is nice this is a tag with information how to connect everything I mean it's no science that the garden hose will go in here supply the water in and here you will connect your hose I guess the pressure washer hose now I was actually wondering where this was this is a 40 degrees nozzle 
which is very typical for pressure washer not sure if you can get it on camera but this is the one that I typically use to wash the car with my Sanjo it actually came with a few more like 15 and 0 honestly I've never used it the circular one that's the one that goes with higher pressure I use when I clean around the house but they're all connectable I mean if somebody buys it I will give it to them I don't have use for it anyways so I will set it up with the initial hose see how it works okay guys let's connect this as you guys can see it only goes in kind of one way and then you twist it now take this plastic off and we got the pressure hose that it came with okay no science to this click press and twist okay stretch it out This one goes to the back part. Okay, now you get your garden hose. And this one you'll connect right here. on and off button is right here before you turn it on make sure the water is running now that we have the water running let's before you turn it on make sure you get all the bubble of air out there we go one solid stream good let's turn it on now okay actually turns off pretty quick which is nice let me get the 40 degrees adapter it's right here so far so good let's see this Like it does the job let me focus on the car now this the sun suddenly went down and it's about to rain so I'm gonna hurry up a little bit So far no issues, it seems to be for working fine, so I'm gonna attach the foam gun now, see how it does and how much foam does it actually create, so give me a second. By the way, all the foam gun and all the attachment and soap, everything I use, I will leave a link down in the description for you guys to 
check out this is the bubble gum from Mr. Pink. They call it bubble gum, but it's a Mr. Pink. It's a bubble gum scent, and it's a very nice scent to wash your car. So let's start. Let's see how much foam it can actually create. Initial, not bad at all. It's actually pretty thick. Not too bad, not too bad. Let me put this on time lapse. So, initially Obviously, it's slightly too short. I'm not gonna hook up my Uberflex hose today, which I will highly recommend. I might do that in a future video. But so far, honestly, it's doing great. So I'm just gonna rinse it off and then give you a brief summary of everything. Okay guys, initial review, great machine for 100 bucks. You cannot go wrong. It's very small and compact. It's lightweight and I mean it's worked great and I will do a deeper review in the future great for washing cars and cleaning around the house I actually cleaned a little bit of the area of the concrete and yes it does the job right now if you're washing cars the only thing you will need is a better phone cannon because the one that came with it it's totally garbage don't waste your time these things unfortunately are not cheap you may get a cheap one around 20 30 bucks but they don't work buy the ones that are at least 70 or 80 bucks it's almost the price of the compressor but it's actually fun to wash your car so i have this one i know they have a newer one called big mouth i know one of my guys are getting one of them and i may see it and try it out and if it works much better than this which i highly doubt then i will upgrade to it if not man this one does the job so this one i believe I, I paid around 70 or 80 bucks for it buy it when they have special they always have like 20 or 30 percent off so make use of that and other than that everything i use here i will leave the link down into the description and if it's your first time watching one of my videos please consider subscribing if you like challengers i have a bunch of things coming up I still have to finish my garage. I still have a lot of projects. I will do videos comparing these two machines to each other before I actually sell that one, if it doesn't die on me. So other than that, drop a like button, comment down below. Let me know what you think and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Out.